It is my pleasure to give my contribution through this message during the official celebration of World Tourism Day 2017. While I regret that I cannot be with you in person, however, I would like to convey my very best wishes to you all, and in particular to the Secretary General of the United Nations World Tourism Organization, His Excellency Taleb Rifai and his team. I believe that today's celebration offers us an ideal platform to reaffirm our commitment towards sustainable tourism as a tool for development. Sustainable development has the ability to address inequalities by creating job opportunities, prosperity, peace, security and well-being to make our world a better place for all. This celebration also offers an opportunity for our private sector in the field to continue to dialogue, share and analyze diverse future aspirations for the industry within the context of this much needed sustainable approach. World Tourism Day offers us another reflective opportunity of how our respective authorities and countries can effectively contribute towards the sustainability of the sector. Moreover, today's celebration offers us an opportunity to reassert our strong engagement with the United Nations Agenda 2030 and its 17 Sustainable Development Goals. I believe that we must continue to be guided in all our endeavours by the fundamental values of the United Nations and by our shared focus to achieve positive peace, holistic well-being and long-term sustainability for the benefit of all humanity. Let us use this opportunity to promote beneficial changes in social policies and economic practices to evolve a more sustainable tourism sector which actively contributes towards the fulfilment of Agenda 2030 and its 17 Sustainable Development Goals. That is why I am pleased to note that the key themes of the International Year for Sustainable Tourism as a Tool for Development are rooted in important social, economic and cultural strategies for progress inspired by these goals. Tourism is increasingly recognised as a critical driver to achieve these goals. Tourism is an essential contributor for strong socio-economic growth, job creation and the safeguarding of our historical and environmental heritage. Tourism is a sector that has an unrivaled impact on the livelihoods of billions of people around the world. According to the 2017 Economic Impact Report released by the World Travel and Tourism Council, conducted in collaboration with Oxford Economics, tourism generated one in every 11 jobs of the world's employment opportunities last year. This translates to a total of 292 million jobs. Moreover, the sector grew by 3.3%, outpacing the global economy for the sixth year in a row. The report also notes that travel, tourism and hospitality generated 10.2% of the global GDP, when the direct, indirect and induced impacts of the sector are all taken into account. Additionally, according to the Economic Impact Report, money spent by foreign visitors accounted for 6.6% of total world exports. This equals almost 30% of total services exported, reflecting the global economic impact that tourism makes possible. It is evident that travel, tourism and hospitality are crucial sectors as they generate the ability to empower our communities, to transform our economies and to strengthen our societies. I would like to take this opportunity to commend all stakeholders who have taken this commitment on board to transform the lives of millions of people for the better. However, on the other hand, there is still much more that needs to be done to promote sustainable tourism as a tool for development. If we wish to ensure that the momentum we have achieved this year to secure a more sustainable future for our world is maintained, then we must carefully analyse and consider further the effect of the tourism industry on climate change. Climate change is not a distant phenomenon, rather it is a pressing reality with far-reaching effects on all of our countries and regions. We must therefore be mindful of the changing climate and shifting weather patterns, which shall undoubtedly have an effect on tourist choices, industry productivity and travel patterns. There is an urgent need for the tourism industry, for our national governments and for international organisations to work together, to develop and enhance strategies, to address the imminent issues of a changing climate. 
we must increase our actions now. We must prioritize on all renewable sources of energy. We must encourage further environmentally respectful attitudes. We must take preventive actions and adaptive measures against the future of effects of climate change. Let me therefore take a moment to commend the growing efforts being made in my own region, the Euro-Mediterranean region, to ensure that environmental protection is high on national agendas of stakeholder countries. I would also like to commend in particular the Mediterranean Tourism Foundation, which is bringing together diverse stakeholders in the Mediterranean and also taking initiatives in this regard. I am a firm believer in strategies and collaborations as an effective means to address the effects of climate change by promoting a sustainable way forward for the tourism industry. I believe that our strategies for sustainable tourism can equally promote responsible tourism. I would like to encourage you all to place the social, economic, cultural and environmental well-being of our communities and our countries at the heart of all your considerations so as to ensure that the tourism industry will create not only economic profits, but also socio-cultural benefits to all. We must also embrace the enrichment that diversity makes possible to our nations. Diversity provides opportunities for tourists, visitors and local communities to make meaningful connections and friendships with each other. In the process of building connections and friendships, we'll be building an inclusive and participatory culture of positive peace. Positive peace is not simply the absence of violence or conflict. Positive peace is the decision to keep creating opportunities and to implement effective strategies that promote universal human rights and fundamental freedoms for all peoples. Let me encourage you to continue to be guided by a truly 21st century vision of sustainable tourism as an intrinsic tool to build a global culture of positive peace and holistic well-being. Let us continue to endeavour to make the tourism industry a driver for solidarity, peace and prosperity for the benefit of all humanity now and in the future. Adna kem xandarna messaċ mill-eċċelenza taħħa Mari Luiz Kolero Preka, President ta' Malta, fl-okkazzjoni tal-jum internazzjonali iddedikat lil-mara.